What's that? You want more green age, do ya? I knew you couldn't get enough of the newest craze in paint colors, taking a bit of gray, but more so green and beige, giving you the ultimate neutral color category for 2021 and beyond. But seriously, I absolutely love introducing green into the neutral category of colors. Say what you want about muted paint colors in general, they're going to be the first choice for a lot of people because of how easy they are to work with. You don't always need to go neutral. In fact, there are a lot of people where I'd recommend staying away from them on your walls if you wanted bright or dynamic wall colors. But the really nice thing about green age is you get something that is pretty safe and workable, but different enough where that green really makes things interesting and portrays a feeling of vitality in life. Let there be life. If you haven't already seen our Benjamin Moore Green Age video, you can check that one out as well because personally, I'm really proud of that video. But today, we're gonna look at five colors by another paint company called Sherwin-Williams. And these are all kind of green beige colors that you can use throughout your entire home. I wanna try and cover a fairly wide spectrum within this color category. So whether you're looking for something that's more beigey green, gray leaning, light or dark. Hopefully there's something for everyone. Starting with the darkest color on this list, just to show you that you don't necessarily need to pick something that's an off white in order to be part of the green age gang. But the Sherwin-Williams color Clary Sage is one of the warmer sage greens out there with an LRV of 41. So this puts it in the mid-tone category of colors, but what's beautiful about it is it has a soft yet warm green undertone, which makes it feel really summery to me. It was also selected for the Sherwin-Williams Spring and Summer Rejuvenation Color Collection, and I can see why, because for a color this deep, it really brightens my day. So cheesy. <laughs> For something a little safer within that green age category, we have a color that is just barely in it. Conservative gray is by many accounts a warm gray, but it's that combination of gray and beige that does give it a subtle green undertone, which leads many people to mistakenly search for this color online as conservative green, but it's not. It's called conservative gray. Its LRV is 63, which is surprisingly low considering how light it feels in person. But by all accounts, this gray is secretly a green age in disguise. If you think I'm lying, look at some of its darker counterparts in Dried Thyme and Rosemary. Those colors are along the same color chip and you can see the green is more prominent as the color gets darker. And besides, those darker colors, they're named after green herbs, so... They're all kind of green. Conservative gray is a perfect entry level green age. So if you're in the market for some Sherwin-Williams colors and you just wanna dip your little pinky toe into green age, that's one to take a look at. Now, if you want a similar color, but you're a bit less shy about having a green undertone, we have one of my personal favorites, Livable Green. Another sort of starter green age color that is a little more upfront with its warm green element. The nice thing about it is it still doesn't overdo the green aspect whatsoever. But because there's less gray in this one, it doesn't seem cool in the slightest and has that wonderful rejuvenating feeling that most green paint colors tend to have. It's also nice because I find that the warmer you get with a color in general, the lower the LRV you can afford to go. So for example, a color with the same level of depth so that same light reflectance value, but a whole lot cooler leaning, won't necessarily have that same comforting feeling on your walls in a lot of cases. So if you're working with warmer colors, you can afford to get a bit darker overall, but still have that nice homey feeling with your paint colors. What about an off-white color? Well, coming in at an LRV of 79, which means it's reflecting 79% of the light that hits it, which is pretty light as a color. We have spinach white. <laughs> kind of a funny name, because I don't really think of white when I think of spinach. So this is definitely the lightest color we're gonna talk about today. And the name is pretty confusing, all things considered. But it's also straightforward in a sense, because it's definitely a lot brighter than what spinach actually looks like. But it does have a little bit of that green that's pretty prominently on display. You might wanna be a little bit careful with this color because if you're in a northern exposed room or you have a lot of really cool lighting, this color can feel a bit minty rather than green-agey, which can work in certain situations, but not necessarily others. 
So this one is a little more niche, a little more of a very soft and subtle accent color rather than the other ones which are more neutral in their behavior. That's one of the main reasons why I didn't include a color like white mint on this list for the very same reason because it's an even fresher turquoisey feeling color, which is even less flexible. Spinach white at least has a little bit of that warm beige, which helps preserve some of that balance. That being said, I know there are some people that do want that sort of minty fresh vibe. So I wanted to mention white mint just for the record. My current favorite greenish paint color by Sherwin-Williams has it all. It's elegant, delicate, has a versatile LRV of 75, and you guessed it, it's a bit green and a bit beige. I wanna end off with Sherwin-Williams Sagey. Check this color out if you're looking for a potential all over the house color that gets the paint people greenage stamp of approval. For more colors like these, you can check out our Benjamin Moore video right over here. I'm telling you, the future is green. Nash.